you guys how y'all doing today my name is latricia ferguson and i am here to teach y'all another beginner friendly project that y'all can go ahead and make money off of the time is now to go ahead and design and i am here to make it your life a lot easier because you got to get these memorial coins okay so if you're ready thank y'all for joining and let's get straight to it okay so i'm going to go ahead and share my screen which is the canva template and um y'all come in and mute yourself mute yourself Alrighty, so all you're going to do is go ahead and once you purchase the template, there's going to be basically like a frame that you're going to get. And this is going to be very easy. When I say it's easy, my goal here is to make it where all you got to do is do a couple drops, do a couple clicks, and y'all got what y'all need, okay? So I'm going to walk y'all through how to build up from this template, and then I'm going to help y'all to how to build up um, and create a image in mid journey. Okay. Y'all come in and mute yourself. Okay. Alrighty. So if y'all scroll down, there's an image. Hold on. Um, okay. So if y'all come on in, um, there's an image or a screen right under and all y'all got to do is grab that and pull it up. Okay, so y'all see how I did that? And it's going to turn from this, from the original frame to this. This is going to help you guys. Okay. Keep yourself mute, please. And then that way we won't interrupt the um people, please. All righty. So go ahead and bring that frame up. And then that way y'all don't have to worry about nothing okay this is going to be your background you could choose any image to throw in there if you want to but i said well i'm going to go ahead and do a pink theme because we did a pink obituary so we're just going to continue at pink okay all righty so once you have that now you're going to start to bring in words and you're going to start to bring in your people and y'all see how is the steps is very clear well eventually we want to go ahead and blur them out a little bit okay so we're going to go ahead and get a font and the font that i'm going to use is called amsterdam okay so right now let's just choose a font let's just choose this one I'm going to just take the top off and I'm going to grab it and it's called Amsterdam. Okay. So I'm going to highlight it and type Amsterdam. And y'all going to get this jazzy font. Okay. So they have four different ones. So when you think of fonts, you know how they say Italian, bold, thin. Well, you want to choose the third one. So it's called Amsterdam 3. Okay. They have Amsterdam 2, Amsterdam 1, so 1, 2, or 3, and then they say 4. We want 3, number 3, number 3, okay? So I have that. Now, one thing I am going to do, that's going to be part of the name, and for the um, words, the font is going to be Kaboa. I know it's weird, but just ride it out with me. So I'm going to highlight it, and we're going to go back up here. Because we got to get our our all our stuff together, okay? This is, how you spell it is C-U-B-O-A. A-O, I'm sorry. You just was there. There you go, right here. So you don't want, um no, you want narrow. So Kaboa narrow, okay? Now, one thing I am going to do is highlight this. And I'm going to lock it temporarily, okay? So I'm going to click right here. And I'm going to click lock so it doesn't move, okay? So I can move these. But the reason why we're locking it, because once I put my image there, I do not want my image dropping in. So we're going to lock the back just to, just to hold it for us, okay? So next I, I'm going to do is, uh, let's go to chat GPT, okay? So we're going to go to, well, I'm going to go to mid journey. And then... The reason why I'm going there is I already got the prompt for y'all, okay? So y'all see these? This is my prompt. I'm going to drop it in a text. Oh, I just click use text. Okay. Oh, well, I just click one of these here to come up bigger. There we go. 
Alrighty, so it says a beautiful black woman wearing a straight wig, black wig on. She is wearing a fitted um, fuchsia pink. I'm sorry, I don't know why fuchsia would not pop in my head. <laughs> fuchsia pink dress with fuchsia pink triangle earrings on. And she has one hand on her hip with the other one down to her side. Super detailed, similar cinematographic, <laughs> beautiful lining, and white background, okay? So I'm going to drop this in you guys' chat. So all y'all got to do is play around and, oh, wait, hold on, I'm about to direct message somebody, okay? And then that way y'all have it, okay? So that's in the chat. And then if I click the back button or the X, I could choose whichever one. I believe the one I chose was... um. I want to say it was this one is the one that I had downloaded. So all I'm going to click it and I'm going to click right here where it says download and it's going to drop. Okay. So I have it. So next I'm going to go to my finder and I'm going to get my girl. And I'm going to bring her in. Yes, that's her. Okay. Her name is Angela today. Okay. Her name is Angela. So I'm going to click on it and I'm going to click BG remover. Alrighty, so I have my girl, and then I'm going to go to Element, and I'm going to click Angel Wings, type Angel Wings. I'm going to go to See All. Now, the Angel Wings I want, let's go to Photos. Give me a second once I see it. Oh, is it this one? No, that ain't it. Um, I'm trying not to go to my recent and confuse y'all. So give me a second. Is it this one? No, it would look more realistic. So hold on. I might have to go to my re recent so I can find it and show y'all. Okay, let me go back to all. That's the one. Oh, you don't want to be, let me, you know, one thing I don't like about Canva is it lose stuff that I, I had already. So let me, let me go to my recent y'all. Cause I just was playing around with it. So give me a second. Let me find a name. Info. Did I really upload this? Ooh, did I? Okay, I'm just going to choose some. It's fine. So I'm going to just choose these ones, but they look so fake. I can't go with that. Okay. Um, Let's just go with these. Well, that's not it. Let's just go with these ones, and I'm going to go to edit. See all. And I want more of a yellow tint. I mean, a pink tint. And I'm going to turn it down. Okay, so what I am going to do, let's go to dual tone and let's go to blush and then turn it down because I, I don't want nothing too peak, but I want it to blend. So y'all see how it's blending and I put it at 39. So I'm going to go to the back. Okay, let's make it a little bit smaller because we don't want it oversaturating and overpowering nothing. And we're going to move her about right here, but turn her down. Because I still want the background to be seen. Let's go up some. Oh, I love that. Okay, let's bring her down a little bit. Perfect. So you can still see the birds. You can still get a feel for it. Um, let's go down a little bit more because we got to put our memory right over her head. Perfect. Okay, so let's go grab this memory right here and we're going to bring it up. So I'm going to put this right here and I'm going to duplicate that. So I'm going to go to, I guess you could say you can go click the three, three dots and we're going to duplicate. And I'm going to lay it right on the top, but I'm going to go to position layer. I'm going to click this one, the bottom one, and I'm going to go to color. Okay. And the color I actually want is I'm going to play around with. Let's see this one. And I'm going to expand it out a little bit. 
and bring it over. So as y'all can see, it's like a little glare behind it, okay? So it is giving a 3D effect, and that's what I want, okay? So I'm going to go to position, and I'm going to sh hold shift, click on this first one, and uh -oh, click on the next one, and then I'm going to expand it out. So just like that. And let's put it in the middle. Okay, so my girl, I'm actually going to make her a little bit smaller because I don't want her head just touching so high up. So it's all a trial and error and just adjusting as I go. And then what I am going to do is I am going to go ahead and put in loving memory, okay? So, or in love, okay? Because you still, you know, want to go ahead and put that. And I'm going to use the Amsterdam one. Because we don't want too many fonts. And I'm going to type in loving. Uh oh. Okay, why y'all? There you go. And I'm going to do it more of a pink. And I like this one right here. Okay, so let's bring it down. And what I am going to do, I'm going to bring this down a little. And bring this down a smidge bit, but expand it out a little. I'm going to go to effects, and I am going to go to like an outline, and I want to do white. Perfect. Okay. So I love how you can see the outline of the L and, you know, everything like that. So one thing I am going to do is change her name. Angela. Um, I did this in uh, one of my classes. So I, I don't know why she just looked like an Angela. Nicole. Okay. So I'm going to change it the same color as that. Highlight it, change the color, and then go to effects, then white. Mm -mm. Perfect. Now, y'all know I don't like lines like that's exposed. So I'm going to go ahead and grab me some clouds. And I'm going to go to see all, and I'm going to find some clouds that work for me. Okay, let's move this up. Because now let's fade out the bottom. Okay, so I'm going to put this right here. All righty. And then I'm going to just, let's fade it out. Let's turn the opacity down a little bit because we don't want to oversaturate the steps. But we, we want it enough. There we go. Um, Let's do, okay. Let's do this one. So as y'all can see, we're building on a template. We don't have to drag and drop it in like we normally will do. You're building on a template and going from there. Now, that is amazing. Okay, so what I am going to do is just go like this. Boom. I love that. Now, I feel like it's, it's kind of turned a little bit. I don't know. Maybe my eyes deceiving me, but that's okay. But I like this. Okay, so for this one, what I am going to do is I'm going to turn it pink and put like a glow to it. And that's like a born and passing what we're going to do. Y'all, we almost done. I'm sad, y'all, because it didn't take long. <laughs> but y'all know, y'all can walk away with something very unique with this template. This is like a game changer. Okay, so I'm going to move that right here. I'm going to do the other one like about right here. There we go. I don't want it too far away from each other. Oh, gosh. That is amazing. So let's go ahead and click both of them. And we're going to go to pink. And let's go to effects. And we're going to go to neon. Ooh. Now, I'm going to turn the neon down probably a little. Oh, uh, no. Let, ooh, there we go. 79. Ding, ding, ding. We have a winner. Okay. So let me bring this over just a little this cloud 
That's the one right there. Okay. So we're going to say concept. Oops. Uh, sunrise. And let's put it right underneath it. Um, line it up. Okay. So we're going to put some dates there. You can put, if you, you know, just can come up with a date, totally do that. I highly recommend just, I don't know, types of numbers. Um, we're going to say 05, 22. Oh, um, wait, 05, 20, uh, 29. Mm, we're gonna say she looked like she was born in 80 so we're gonna say um 83 okay and then passing especially because this is a new kind of um design i love to go ahead and just put like today date and then um it'll be make it look like i'm giving my community or my my people something new or to them other than like it's old okay we don't want that all righty so one thing i am going to do is just put Let's say, so zero, two, what's the date? Eight, yeah, uh, zero, eight, two, five. Oh my goodness, that is gorgeous. Now, I, if I want like a little glare behind her um, or to jazz it up, I could put like a glow ring. Okay, watch this, guys. Okay, position, put this, now this is my little, y'all know I love to drop gems for the day. Y'all see that? It's put a little jazz behind her. And it's like a glow. Now y'all, if y'all want it to be more, uh-oh. So y'all could, you know, get real extra. You can put this behind her and make it smaller. I like this. This is cute. Real cute. Real cute. Okay. So let's go to position. Um, Let's go back and bring it behind her like that. That is really, really, really cute. Um, Let me click on it. Oh, good grief. Oh, I like her that low. Get with it. I'm trying to. There we go. So you can put it right here. You can put it down some more to make it like more of a, a glow effect around her. That's really nice. I like that a lot. Oh, yeah. Now, um, y'all know I, lo I love to just drop some on y'all. I don't know. Should I drop it? Because this is a free group. I mean, a free class. I don't think y'all ready. All right. All right. I'll give it to y'all. <laughs> so y'all can put like um star, like, oh, not star. So we're going to put, and let me see if I can find it. Um, so they have a flare. That's what it's called, flare lens. Okay, so they have that. Um, let me bring it. Hold on, y'all. So they have that flare lens. You can always put it right here and then put it underneath it to make it um like light up oh look at that when i drop it in it really goes there we go give it it lights it up you can also do another flare lens which is here nope that's too big nope i'm trying to find something that's smaller oh where you at i can't really see them that's the terrible part here we go like y'all can do this, like, and just put them around to make the picture like stand out some more. I'm done dropping free stuff on y'all, <laughs> but no, like it's simple. Y'all can easily just do something simple like this and go from there. It's that simple. So I'm gonna stop and I'm gonna let y'all tell me what y'all think. Uh, but that concludes this video and I will see you guys. So let me go ahead and stop sharing.